So hi guys, assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great by the grace of God, alhamdulillah. And today, I just want to try something new. I want to try how to cook Sudanese kisra. Uh, I'm a Kenyan, but I love, I love, I love Sudanese food. And for the kisra, what we do here in Qatar, we usually buy buy in um, in a Sudanese restaurant. But today, I decided I want to go on that journey and I want to try how to make my own kisra. So I have the ingredients with me here. I have one cup of flour, corn flour and I have one cup of, of what do you call this? Of um, I have one cup of flour also, but this is the wheat flour and the corn flour, sorry. And I have some yogurt and some water. And I'm going to use this bowl to mix my ingredients. So the cup of corn flour and the cup of wheat flour. Those are my dry ingredients. And then I'll go ahead and mix with, this is only 170 grams of yogurt. Uh, this one is optional. It's optional, you can decide to add, but I'll, I want to use mine when it has yogurt. Okay. So I'll go ahead and mix the ingredients with, the, with water and make a consistent. And I'm going to use my, I'm going to use this to mix my consistency and develop some paste okay let's do this so my consistency is ready after mixing and let me show you how it looks like this is how the paste looks like you have to make sure like you mix all you see up properly to avoid having like some crumbs on your on your consistency and that's how mine looks like right I think you can see so i think i made too much but it's not that much because it, since it's day one i just hope it's not too much so that's how my consistency looks like and i'm going ahead to cover this one and leave it for three days so have it to cover i'll have to cover it and just leave it some somewhere warm i'm not going to put it in the fridge since it needs to be left outside and i'll leave it for three days and see how it's going to work and then we'll have to prepare our kisser uh, later after three days so one two three let's wait for three days inshallah assalamu alaikum so this is day four of um after I put this consistent and um, I'm getting it off uh, because now it has that sour taste and I'm going to take this shoya consistent and I have I'm adding some more flour and I'm going to prepare my first ever kisra I am going to use this pan uh, this is the one that I'm going to use because I don't have the one that they use in Sudan and i'm also going to use some a little bit of olive oil for the pan and since because i don't have gari gari but that is what they use for make i'm going to use this old card this this is my one of my old cards my atm cards i'm going to use it for spreading and first let me just do this mixture up and then i'll continue trying and uh, just try to make my first my first meal inshallah so now everything is so set for me and i'm going to do this bismillah so i'm using this small cup to scoop my consistency bismillah i don't know how to do this yet. a little bit amount i don't know if that's the exact amount and then my old atm to spread that like that 
God, it's the light shot like the ghost world. Anyway, that's my first one. Bismillah. Okay. I'm going to try to reduce the fire. Hope it turns out well. And... Yay! We did it! Okay. So, the second one. Bismillah. So... I think we need to add a little bit of the consistency and then my goodness So guys, that's my Kisra. It's already ready. I don't know why they're shikanaing. It's ready and I made it. I just made, I think the first one was not super good, but alhamdulillah, because it was the first time. The second one was super, super mashallah. I think I made four pieces of Kisra and I'm so, 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 super, super, super excited since it was my first time making Kisra. So I'll go ahead and prepare something to have with Kisra. That's how my kisra turned out. Three. The first one was not that much good, but it's still okay. meal is ready to serve it's a meal of two people and we can't wait to enjoy this inshallah